the return is based on this quest that I've been on to figure out my DNA. And as an artist, I've always wanted to know exactly like my makeup and so that I could reference certain places and groups of people that would be connected in terms of blood. And I traced my mother's um, DNA to Sierra Leone and Guinea. And I wanted to get as close as I could to, to um, Sierra Leone and Guinea and dealing with the slave, slave trade routes and dealing with uh, Gory Island. And basically, I did my DNA around that time. And top left-hand corner, you can also see, like, letters from, from my DNA. Uh, the images that are, that are in, inside of the piece is really based around uh, um, photographs from family members. And some, sometimes I use found photographs and sometimes a lot of my family photographs. And... And basically, in the beginning of my pieces, I was almost referencing like um, the, the Congo and Congolese, and then um, these figures called Nikisi figures, where they would have a glass stomach. So the piece is actually not a, I don't think of it as a um, frame. I think of it as a cabinet. So the whole idea behind that with the cabinet was thinking that uh, memory was a form of medicine. You'll see a stamp on the on the piece. It says "Long Live UNIA," and and that references on my father's side of the family. They were Garveyites, and they basically liked it. You know, basically Marcus Garvey had this idea about black people going back and forth to Africa in like the twenties. Um, that also plays with the title "Returnal," being like going back and forth. A oh, child, John. <laughs> It was actually, that was something I did with my son. Uh, I like to incorporate my family and my work in a lot of different ways. But that was more like a conversation that I'm having with my son about my work. A lot of my work is like in between two worlds. Like take, for instance, dealing with the ocean and space. Outer space is like very similar like the ocean. And we somewhat sit at a crossroads between the two. And I know the Yoruba make references to uh, this different place. This, and also in Congo, dealing with more so this kind of crossroads and place and things where, you know, living and the dead and how things live in between those worlds. Um, I think of myself as an artist. I think of myself as African-American artist. Um, I think of myself as a black artist. I think of myself as a lot of different things, you know, um, but my audience is, um, I think that I work in such a way that, you know, if there's like a very painful subject, I deal with it with color and I also beauty. I don't necessarily, it's not about the pains, but it's also about the, be about the beautiful parts of who I am. One thing that I, I like about my work, I'm always trying to come back to that same space where I'm having a conversation with everyone about my own personal history but at the same time it's done in such a way where it can be universal you know there's there's little simple things of you know the references to water and water was you know about me as a child having a conversation with water my dad taking me fishing very basic and very simple it's you know <laughs> it's yeah. not just always it's not just always about the passage and slavery but it's about you know everyday life and i think that you know when when I come to a point in my work, when I, when I talk about those things, I think those things are just as important as, you know, the battles and the struggles that we deal with as well. Because um, you can't necessarily live, make work and it be about pain and fighting. It's got to be about life.